And in one of the most heated races in the state of Utah, the 4th Congressional District, you have incumbent Representative Ben McAdams trying to fend off Republican challenger Burgess Owens. So let's check in with Rick Aaron. He's live in studio now with more on the race for Utah's governor, Rick. Yeah, Glenn, this is a race that is notable for just how friendly it has been. Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox and University of Utah law professor Chris Peterson actually made national headlines by appearing together in a public service announcement promoting civility and a peaceful transfer of power. Now, this afternoon, I had the opportunity to speak to both candidates about their goals for this campaign. Obviously, winning was important, but it wasn't the most important thing. Um, for us, we wanted to, to win the right way. Um, we wanted to actually try to change the way that campaigns happen, which is kind of audacious, I guess, but we wanted to show that there was a better way. We, I, I hate politics. My, my wife and I hate what's happening in our country, um, how divisive politics has become. So many good people won't run because it, it's all about tearing others down, and uh, we wanted to try to change that. My goal was to win the election, and, and we may be closer to that than a lot of people think. I think we've been closing on Lieutenant Governor Cox, but, but a secondary goal has been to just try to provide uh, the people of Utah a, a credible choice, an alternative that's focused on moderate policy, a, a reasonable government outcomes, fiscal stewardship, uh, and, and also listening to the voters on things like ballot measures and keeping off food taxes. Uh, and I'm proud that that's the kind of race that we've run. Now, because of the pandemic, there will be no packed ballrooms or balloon drops for these candidates tonight. Lieutenant Governor Cox plans to spend the evening watching the returns come in in his hometown of Fairview with his family. And Professor Peterson said he will be at his home in Salt Lake City with his wife and three kids as those results start to come in. Emily?